Hey, I'm Michael Cost, and since it's exam season all around the world, I decided to make five green tips um, for students and for people in school who are about to write exams or are writing exams. So these are for you. Number five, we usually eat and nibble while we are studying. So instead of eating chocolate and sweets, a good idea is to get some raisins and peanuts um, but usually raisins are very organic and they um, are healthy and give you great bursts of energy while you're studying or you could get vegetables or fruits baby marrows, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat baby marrows but um, you should get produce that is from your country these are from South Africa um, but it's good to get produce that is produced in your country. Tip number four. When you're going to your exam or going to school, you should definitely carpool with your neighbors or your friends in your class so that there are less emissions. Tip number three. Energy. To save energy, you should always unplug your things. All the things that you're not using. So your charger, your laptop if you're not using it, and anything else. Another way to save energy is to switch off your heaters. So when you're freezing in your room, if it's winter like it is here in South Africa, you could always get blanket. Or you could get your slippers um, or wear a pair of gum boots in case you are wanting to go plant a vegetable garden during your study break. Tip number two, printing. Printing is a huge problem and there's a big debate between it. Should you print, shouldn't you? But there's a key factor that a lot of people don't actually realize. That printing your study notes off of your computer saves a lot more energy instead of reading them off of the computer. But you should always print back to back and you should use scrap paper or use the printed notes as scrap paper in the future. Also a good tip is that you should print on recycled paper and don't print in colour because that uses more energy and more ink. Another tip for saving paper and the printing issue is to recycle at home or to take your recycling to school or to university. That way your carbon footprint is a little bit less. Tip number one, if you don't have a green society at your school or at your university. Why not start one? Generation Earth. Generation Earth is a global organization. Generation Earth gives the tools for the youth to make a difference in their world, in their school and in their countries. Generation Earth is an organization for the youth, by the youth and with the youth. I will leave all the information for Generation Earth in the information below so that you can go to the website, Facebook or Twitter and see how can you get involved, how can you make your school greener and how do you become a part of this movement. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like and please leave your comments about all the green tips that you have. Maybe I left some out that you think are very valuable for others to know.